Hello everyone. Myself, Dr. Prashant Kohli. And we are discussing the FI Basic Chemistry CBCS syllabus of course CH202 Analytical Chemistry. In the last lecture, we got interacted with the chapter that is a calculation used in analytical chemistry. So we'll continue today with the same topic that is a calculation used in analytical chemistry. So probably in the previous video, uh, previous video, we discussed some basic concept related to the analytical chemistry. Continue with the same topic we are going to discuss today about the moles and millimoles. So friends, we already know about the mole, what is actually mole that is used in a used to express some chemical quantities. So probably the mole is a collection that contains the same number of particles as there are carbon atoms in 12.01 gram of carbon. Simply that one mole of substance corresponds to the 6.022 into 10 to 23 atoms of element. And that is recalled it as a Avogadro's number. For instance, for any element, if you are calculating the one mole of substance, then that will be always equivalent to the Avogadro's number. So here you can see the one mole of carbon equivalent to the 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 carbon atoms. Similarly, for sodium element, the number will be same. That is Avogadro's number. And for gold, one mole of gold will always equivalent to the 6.022 into 10 to 23 gold atoms. So what is the conclusion here? One mole of any substance will always equivalent to the Avogadro's number. So for example, there are different types of uh, chemical bonding substances like a covalent compound or ionic compound. So what will be the differentiation of mole in that cases? So one mole of covalent compound always again equivalent to the Avogadro's number of molecules. For example, one mole of CO2, which consisting the covalent bonding, will also equivalent to the 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 CO2 molecules. Similarly, in case of water molecule, that is a H2O molecule, one mole of H2O will equivalent to the 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 water molecules. So that is a very basic. One mole of substance will be equivalent to the Avogadro's number. Now, in case of some ionic compound, we can also express the Avogadro's number. One mole of NaCl will always contain the 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 NaCl formula units. So, as it is ionic compound, so it will be get dissociated into the cations and anions, and that number will be equivalent to the 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 NaCl atoms. That is what the Avogadro's number. Similarly, in case of one mole of uh, potassium sulfate, the number will be equivalent and that will be the 6.022 into 10 to 23 potassium sulfate formula units. So there are some sample samples of one mole quantities. You can see the table here. So there are different types of metals like one mole of aluminum, one mole of Fe, one mole of water, one mole of vitamin C, one mole of NaCl. They're having the same number that is the Avogadro's number and that number is equivalent to the 6.022 into 10 to 23 units, uh, 23 units that is atoms, ions, or molecules. So the number is same, number is not going to change. So one mole is always equivalent to the Avogadro's number of particles. So Avogadro's number. So we already learned that what is the Avogadro's number that is 6.022 into 10 to 23 atoms, ions, or molecules. And that can be represented into the uh, equality and conversion factors. So one mole equivalence to the 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles. And the conversion factors are what the 6.022, that is Avogadro's number divided by one mole or one mole divided by the Avogadro's number. So these are the two conversion factors for the Avogadro's number. So based on the Avogadro's number, we, we can calculate the number of moles or millimoles for the particular substances. For example, uh, we see the basic example how many copper atoms are there in 0.50 mole of copper. So we can calculate the number of uh, copper atoms in 0.50 mole, 0.5 mole of copper. 
for example 0.50 mole of copper can be multiplied by avogadro's number divided by 1 mole of copper so here you can see that the mole mole will be get cancel and 0.50 into 6.022 will be corresponds to the 3.0 into 10 raised to 23 copper atoms so you can calculate the number of copper atoms or any elemental uh, atoms uh, in particular mole of that particular substance so this is very simple calculation from here you can calculate the total number of uh, elemental atoms given in the particular mole quantity so avogadro's number is used to convert the number of particles of a substance to the moles so that is also the basic calculation here you can use the avogadro's number and that avogadro's number can be used to convert the number of particle of a substance to the moles so we can see here example for example how many moles of co2 are there in 2.50 into 10 raised to 24 moles of co2 so how many how many moles of co2 will be there in 2.50 into 10 raised to 24 molecules of co2 so the molecules are given and we have to calculate the number of moles so here you can see that the 2.50 into 10 raised to 24 molecules of co2 are given so that will be multiplied by 1 mole of co2 upon the avogadro's number so here again the 1 mole of co2 and molecules of co2 will be get cancel so uh, here the 20 to 23 and 10 to 24 so uh, there is again the subtraction factor here so 2.5 will be multiplied by 10 equivalent to the 25 divided by 6.022 so the number will be 4.15 moles of co2 so 2.50 into 10 to 24 molecules of co2 will be equivalent to the 4.15 mole of co2 so we can calculate the number of things from using the avogadro's number so here you can see we have used the avogadro's number to convert the number of particles of a substance to the moles so number of particles of any substance can be converted to the moles so we should have the that number to convert the substance to the moles so you can solve here some more examples depending on that uh, mole concept or avogadro's number for example first example we will see the number of atoms in 2.0 mole of aluminum second example we will discuss the number of moles of sulfur in 1.8 into 10 to 24 atoms of sulfur so there is a multiple choice question so we will solve this uh, question depending on the mole concept so the number of atoms in 2.0 mole of aluminum so how many number of atoms will be there in 2.0 mole of aluminum so 2.0 mole of aluminum will be multiplied by the avogadro's number divided by 1 mole so here one mole of aluminum and one mole of aluminum will be cancel so 2.0 into 6.02 so that will be uh, that quantity will be 12.02 and we will shift to one digit to the 10 to 23 that is a 1.2 into 10 to 24 aluminum atoms so the number of atoms in particular mole of a any substance can be calculated using this equation so simply we have to multiply the mole into avogadro's number divided by mole of that substance so we we'll get here the number of atoms of that particular element so second is a uh, how many number of moles of sulfur in 1.8 into 10 to 24 atoms of sulfur uh, how many number of moles of sulfur will be there in this quantity of atoms so here the quantity of atoms is given 1.8 into 10 to 24 so here you can also calculate the number of moles from given quantity of atoms so sim sim initially we will take the 1.8 into 10 to 24 atoms of sulfur that will be multiplied by one mole of sulfur divided by 6.02 into 10 to 23 sulfur atom that is avogadro's number the atom of sulfur atom of sulfur will be cancel here so based on this calculation the answer is uh, 3.0 moles of sulfur atoms so here you can calculate the number of moles that can be expressed from the number of atoms another concept is the similar to the mole we can also express some quantities of chemical substances into the milli millimoles so how to convert the moles into millimoles or um, millimole calculation will be there so many times what is happen uh, many times the amount of chemical substance in mole is very smaller quantity and hence it is very convenient to express the similar quantity into the millimole so it is very simple to calculate the moles into the millimoles 
to make the millimole calculation to make the calculation using millimole instead of moles so what is the particular concept so generally milli is a common prefix used in si units that is equivalent to the 1 upon 1000 or 10 raised to minus 3 of the particular mole substance so that is the conversion factor from mole to the millimole so so you can simply calculate the amount of substance in moles and millimoles so here we'll discuss the first example calculate the number of moles and millimoles of benzoic acid that are contained in 5.0 gram of benzoic acid so you have to calculate the number of moles and millimoles for, for benzoic acid so one should know that the what is molar mass of benzoic acid or to calculate the moles and millimoles it is very essential to have the molar mass of that particular substance so here what is the given quantity that is the 5.0 gram of benzoic acid will contain how many moles and millimoles so here the provided data is the molar mass of benzoic acid that is 1.22.1 gram of per mole so solution initially will go for the number of moles of benzoic acid and we have the formula that is a number of moles of particular substance will be equivalent to the given mass divided by the molar mass of that particular substance for example if we have to calculate the number of moles for any substance then what is first essential thing that uh, there should be the particular mass should be given for that substance and that mass of the substance will be divided by the molar mass of that particular substance for example here the mass of benzoic acid is given that is 5.0 gram and we will divide the 5.0 by the molar mass of benzoic acid that is 1.22.1 and the answer will be 0 0.0409 moles so 5 upon 122.1 will be equivalent to the this number of moles so initially we have calculated the moles so the number of moles of benzoic acid is equal to 0 0.0409 mole in the second thing we will calculate the number of millimoles of benzoic acid the number of millimoles of benzoic acid what is the formula number of moles of benzoic acid divided by 10 raised to minus 3 number of moles of benzoic acid we have already calculated that is 0 0.0409 into so this particular factor will be go to the upper side and will be multiplied to the 0 0.0409 so the answer will be 40.9 millimole so 40.9 millimole quantity will be present in the 5.0 gram of benzoic acid so 5.0 gram contains 40.9 millimoles of benzoic acid so the second you can calculate again some uh, same concept that is moles and millimoles for the particular substances in liter from the given molarity or mole mole quantity so here is a calculate the number of millimoles of solute in 2.0 liter of 0 0.05 moles of kno 4 solution so they have given some molarity and uh, quantity of that particular solution so what is the calculation 0 0.0 0 0.05 mole of kno 4 solution equivalent to the 0 0.04 0 0.05 mole of solute per liter of solution the number of millimoles per liter is equal to number of moles divided by 10 to minus 3 that is a formula so here the moles are already given number of moles that is 0 0.05 that will be multiplied by 1000 so the answer is 50 millimole per liter so what is the answer here the particular 0 0.05 mole of kno 4 solution will contain the 50 millimole uh, 50 millimoles per liter the quantity now the number of millimoles of solute in 2.0 liter so how many number of millimoles in 2 liter of that solution that is kno 4 solution how many millimoles of solute will be present in 2.0 liter of kno 4 solution so here the quantity is given that is the number of moles uh, quantity is 2.2 liter into 50 millimole so the answer is simply 1000 millimole sorry 100 millimole so this is the simple calculation because already the number of moles in liter we have calculated here so if you have to calculate the number of millimoles in 2 liter so the 2 liter multiplied by uh, 50 because this quantity is for 1 liter so for 2 liter it will be multiplied by 50 so the answer is 100 millimoles in the next example we can calculate the num amount of substances in moles and millimoles similarly for the uh, another substances for example calculate the number of moles and millimoles of uh, 320 milligram 
that will be equivalent to the 0.32 gram of calcium oxalate which is having formula CaC2O4. Now it is very important if you have to calculate the number of moles and millimoles then one should know the molar mass of that particular substance. Now sometimes it is possible that uh, the particular examiners or in the question paper it is might not be given about the molar mass of that particular substance then one should have idea that how to calculate the molar mass of particular substance. For example, if we can calculate the molar mass of substance from the summation of atomic mass of that particular substance. Here, what is the information is provided that atomic mass of calcium is equal to 40 gram per mole, atomic mass of carbon is equal to 12 gram per mole, atomic mass of oxygen will be 60 gram per mole. So molar mass of calcium oxalate we can calculate by doing the summation of all the atomic masses in the particular chemical formula. So atomic mass of calcium plus uh, so here calcium is only one. So atomic mass of calcium plus two into atomic mass of carbon because two carbon atoms are there in the formula plus four into atomic mass of oxygen because four oxygen atoms are there in the formula. So atomic mass of calcium is already given here 40 grams per mole plus atomic mass of carbon two into uh, 12 into two carbon atoms are there plus four oxygens are there in the formula. So four into 16 gram per mole. So when you do the summation, the answer is 128.0 grams per mole. So what is the important point that calcium oxalate has a molar mass of 128 gram per mole. The second thing we can calculate the number of moles of calcium oxalate. How to calculate the number of moles of calcium oxalate? That is the amount of uh, substance divided by the molar mass. So amount of substance is already provided here, 320 milligram that is converted into the 0.32 gram. So 0.32 gram divided by the molar mass of calcium oxalate, that is a 128 gram per mole. So when we divide 0.32 gram divided by 128, so the answer is 0 0.0025 moles. Okay, so we have calculated the molar mass of calcium oxalate. In the second thing we have calculated the number of moles of calcium oxalate. And finally, we'll go for the number of millimoles of calcium oxalate. So that is very simple conversion. The number of millimoles of calcium oxalate equivalent to the number of moles of calcium oxalate divided by 10 to minus 3. So that is a quantity. We have already calculated the number of moles that is 0 0.025 for calcium oxalate into 1000. So that answer will be the 2.5 millimole. So the number of millimoles of calcium oxalate are 2.5 millimole. So that is the simple calculation here. We are able to calculate the uh, amount of substances in moles and millimoles as well as we are able to calculate the number of atoms from the given quantity of mole. So that is what the important 